做一个初步的结果的呃介绍。So the first country to come in with the findings was France. Uh, they had a PhD student who was finishing and analyzed it. So what do we? Okay. 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 We first introduced the country was France. So here, the effect of the intervention, patrolling for where the children were at baseline, had significant, several significant effects. That we will see that they were able to get very strong results. There was children felt the environment became more empowered. There was children felt the environment became more empowering because of the intervention. 因为透过这样一个介入计划呢，小孩子他都感觉到，就是复选计划的呃复选气候的这样子一个环境特色。Children's basic needs were influenced; they felt more confident and related. 然后同时他们也就是强烈的感觉到他们需要，他们被肯定是有能力的，以及就是他的关系感的高低。They had greater change in in autonomous motivation. 同时很明显的改变了，我们会发现他们有比较高的自我决定动机。And they had greater what they called overall positive sport experience. That is, they enjoyed more. They had higher self-esteem and vitality, and less intentions to drop out. 但整体来说，他们就是非常享受运动的，比较没有压力。然后呢，也就不会不想要排斥这样子。And the intervention was corresponded to seven percent less objective dropout when we followed the children the next year. 那我们后期呢？他又做了一个一，就是一年后做一次追踪，没有发现这个退出行为还是明显的有去改善的。And I'll just show this real quick. This is just indicating that. Okay. Yes. You came back. <laughs> so you know, measuring these things at the beginning of season and at the end. Here's what we're interested. At the end. The quality of the sport experience. <coughs> we got another one. Okay. okay. Hello. Okay. I'm back. Um, that the children feel well about themselves and feel well about sport. What was interesting is that the baseline, the beginning of the season, didn't predict where they were at the end of the season. What did predict was the intervention influencing the climate and all of these motivational processes. That's what predicted. 那么呢，在这里比较重要的是呢，我们在第一个时间点的时候呢，我们并没有啊去测量到这个他的运动经验的部分。但是呢，我们透过介入计划啊的介入之后呢，在时间点二，然后包含我们三大基本心理需求一起下去分析的结果，我们当然就非常好的结果就是他们的运动经验是好的。So these are findings we're going to keep investigating. Let me just show you some qualitative data very briefly. 那么接下来呢，我们就会透过一些量化的资料的分析来介绍一个结果。When the intervention was over, we had focus groups with coaches that participated in the workshop. 那么呢，我们其实主要呢，就是在整个研究跟计划的结束之后，我们进行一个评估。所以我们有一个就是呃访教练访谈的一个方式，来针对接受训练的这些教练来进行一个就是了解。And we asked a few things. We first asked them, did they understand what we were talking about? For example, did they understand the concepts? Like, what is quality motivation, and why is that different than quantity? And we found out that they did a pretty good job. Here's some quotes. 那么呢，在这个上面呢，我们看到啊，在框框里面呢，其实是访谈的结果，就是教练他们的回忆。那我们就是再一次的跟他确认，问他说：“你真的知道什么是品质动机吗？”啊，跟这个量的动机之间的差别。那透过他们的这个回忆呢，我们会发现他们其实是真的知道的啊，就表示这个教育其实是很成功的。We asked them after participating in the workshop, what did they change? What did they change in how they speak to the children? What did they change in terms of what they do? And there were some very, very interesting positive examples of how they tried to get more empowering. 那么呢，接着其实我们就是想要了解，然后说，呃，在他们接受过这样的训练课程之后呢，他们的行为上面的改变，他们是怎么去说，怎么去做？那我们透过他们的回应，我们发现他们其实都是得到一些非常好的效果，有一些自己的想法来执行这样子的一个呃计划的教育结果。One of the last questions we asked them is, what was the greatest barrier? What was the greatest obstacle for you being more empowering? 
但是呢，我们当然也会有一些阻碍，所以我们必须要了解到底最大的障碍是什么呢 ？Do you have any guesses what the answer was? 有任何人可以就是跟我们分享，认为就是可能碰到的阻碍是什么呢 ？I'll give you a hint. This is not the the coach. It's the mother. <laughs> And they found his example quote that the most challenging to be empowering as a coach was when the parents were disempowering on the sidelines. 那其实呢，我们在他们这个例子当中，我们发现啊，其实最难的就是如果你有双重角色的时候，在那样的情况下，就是会。This is why we also do workshop empowering parenting. 所以呢，我们就是当然也要知道，就是在这个整个训练上面呢。在家长的一些领导的行为上面，希望可以有一些帮助。Okay, to conclude, it's clear we were talking now about coaches. They play a vital role in creating a climate that has implications for young people. 所以呢，让我们得到很重要的结论：教练，教练，教练这个角色呢，它在于这个塑造整个环境气候上面是非常重要的。And I think we need to pull from series research and the programs we have to try to create more empowering climates in those settings. 那当然呢，这个整个的帮助跟提升其实是需要透过很多理论上的知识啊，实践上面研究啊，以及就是一些介化呃介入的计划的帮助。So here I talked about empowering coaching, focused on the coach in grassroots football, but this program has been used in different sports. 那我在这里呢，今天其实跟大家介绍就是教练的赋权。那虽然是呃着重在足球运动，但是事实上这个计划是已经可以应用在很多不同的运动上面的。I'm talking about grassroots sports in the Papa Project, but everything we're speaking about is applicable to elite programs as well. 但是呢，其实它也跟其他的一些精英青少年的选手的计划是有关的，而不只是就是一个足球的计划。As well as in physical education, 同时呢，在呃体育的教育的环境上面 ，school sport， 学校的一般运动 ，and yes, empowering parents, 家长，家长。And finally, one of the interests we 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 have in in、uh, back in the UK is we're doing this program with dance instructors and in trying to make the world of dance more empowering too. 同时呢，我们也试着将这样的一个介入计划应用在舞蹈这一个运动项目上面。So thank you in joining me and my colleagues to try to create a more empowering sport environment. Okay, 谢谢大家，谢谢大家。